our eighth murder in the library. And this was a night we weren't sure how many would show up. You know, there's a lot of other things going on, so we're very happy to have you here. What we are going to do in just a minute or two, we will have a skit that's going to take place in the front. Um, you have seen some of the characters wandering around. Uh, in the skit, you will, I think, get the idea very quickly that there's one person that all of them don't like. And since this is a murder in the library, you probably are going to think someone's going to die. So you're right. Um, so we're going to see the skit. And then all the actors will be exiting. And then I will take a few minutes to give you some rules about how uh, we do this event while the actors and some of our other volunteers get into place. So we will, actually now I will introduce the skits like I'm supposed to. <laughs> now we take you to the gardens behind the Grand Kirkpatrick Casino in Monte Carlo. Amidst a crowd of well-heeled guests, a beautiful woman stands on the veranda, quietly drinking a glass of champagne. You're making a fool of yourself, Bede. You broke my heart, Thunderbolt. Me, Bede, Layman Bede the Third. And? And I'm the one who breaks hearts. You certainly do. Damn straight. I just do it better than you. Why? Thank you, Johnny Spartan. You're saving what's left of Bede's dignity, not to mention his life. Well, why don't you just let up? You can break any man's heart, so ease up. Have I broken yours? Not yet. Johnny. You've got to be kidding me. <coughs> Thunderbolt slut! <laughs> what do you do with care? You promised me that my twin daughters would return to me, and I see you hitting on my husband. I did you and be a favor when I took your daughters. Like hell you did. I saved the little carpet crawlers from their milksop mother and the philanthropy father. I mean, be as a father, really. Well, well, what have you here? A little cat by Jaw. Miss Thompson, I would suggest we fill up alone. This is such a public place for murder, Jaw. What's that right here? <laughs> Evening, Baroness from Mount Badenoff. This ain't over, <coughs> Have you saw any more about my offer at Leach? The answer is still no, Frau Baroness. That will not work for you. At least, not the price you're offering. <laughs> Nay, my little boy, there's a better talking place for that. Bon dinner, Frau Baroness. Blood and honor, indeed. How many does it? I have left the Department of Interrogation and Extermination. Do you honestly believe that anyone believes the buys the idea of sea lagoons? Damn it, Thunderbolt, there are forms to follow. No one leaves sea lagoons international, not even you. Why, well, I do believe we are in what is known as a free trade world. No? What can you offer, Thunderbolt? A government pension? Dr. Obsessio, you're a long way from the Far East. <laughs> Well, I, I do find the Mediterranean climate, it suits me. Now, why don't you go peddle your products somewhere else, didn't it? We will talk later, Thunderbolt. What do you want, Obsessio? <coughs> That's Dr. Obsessio, please. Yes, they'll give anyone a PhD in D these days. <laughs> Look, I already gave you Bede and Thompson's daughters. And, and I've heard bad enough's mind control program has worked wonders on them. Well, yes, but I'd really like to see you in my lab. There's not enough money in the world obsessing. Now go away, I'll gun you down, here and now. We shall see. Just remember, you've made some powerful enemies. And many of them are here tonight at the Grand Confederate Casino. <laughs> Where's Killer Bill? wonder what he knows about this.
figure out who the killer is. So each of you have a packet, a team packet, and there's different types of information in the packet. Um, you